Right, so here is another big connection just dropped in my spirit. My gosh, my gosh. Okay, so we know in the Bible how these stories imitate larger spiritual things. Okay, like for instance, all of my videos showing that they have large spiritual implications. They're showing a pattern for something larger, right? Well, the way that it's worked down here is that it's an imitation of what's going on in the spiritual too. The people that run the show, remember, Lucifer said, I'll be like the most high. So life, you know, art imitates real life. That's why we see this theater going on all around us. It's all a psychological operation with movies and with things we see on the news and with the government. It's all a theatrical show, but it's telling you something in the larger spiritual significance, just like the Bible. Remember, Lucifer is the god of this world, so he's imitating God, but in a kind of twisted way, okay? But it's very similar. Remember, Satan appears as the angel of light. So now pay attention to what I'm saying, my next point, because this is crazy. So Jim Caviezel just comes out with this movie called Sound of Freedom, right? About freeing the children, Okay, now who's Jim Caviezel who, in the larger significance? Well, who did he play? Jim Caviezel is most famous, not for all of his movies, for one movie. That's Jesus Christ. Jim Caviezel, J.C., Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's who Jim is in this picture. And then freeing the children. Okay, get it? Jesus Christ freeing the children from slavery and bondage. Do we get that? So... They're telling you in this big theatrical way about what's going on in the larger spiritual significance. JC, freeing the children, okay, and the children of God. That is us, and that is Israel, and that is children in general. Do you see that? That's crazy to me. But that's the large scheme. That's the larger theatrical meaning of all, all this. Why... Jim Caviezel was this big player. They're imitating what's going on. Jesus Christ freeing the children. Now look on the bottom of this film. It's It was done at Angel Studios. Angel Studios. And then like I said in my last video about the Aurora Borealis lights. Okay, we all know what those are. How that's talking about... It looks like in Revelation chapter 4, the Emerald Throne, okay? And Revelation chapter 4 is talking about what? A rapture. The number 4 is the number for door. And the first thing you read about in Revelation 4 is the door opened in heaven. So definitely a connection there. But remember, this is a spinoff, a, a, like a typology, an image down here. Of the true in heaven. Everything down here is only an image of the true in heaven. Jesus was even called the image of the invisible God. Okay, heaven and heavenly things are different. It's an image though. Just like they said on earth as it is in heaven. So God had Moses and them build tabernacles on earth. Symbolic of the true tabernacles in heaven. So, when we look at the Aurora Borealis lights, are those the lights talked about in the Bible in Revelation chapter 4? Well, possibly, but remember, on earth as it is in heaven. So, the real emerald lights could be in heaven and like above the firmament, but the ones that we see are an image or a projection, so to speak, of the real ones. See, because that's what this place is. It's it's a projection of the true that is in heaven. When you look up the word image in the Strong's Concordance, it means a high definition projection. That's literally what it means. And this is the word that the Bible uses. Even look at the name images. Actually, the, the concordance uses it as icon. Get it? Icons, number 1504. An image, a likeness. A representation then on the bottom it says a mirror like representation referring to what is very close in resemblance like 
a high definition projection as defined by the context. Then it says that the image exactly reflects its source. Uh, images. Jesus was the image of the invisible God. Why do you think they didn't worship Jesus? Was it because he was not uh, the deity of Christ or God? No, it's because God in the form when he came down here was an image of the true in heaven. That's why Jesus always pointed to the Father, which was in heaven. Don't worship images. Remember what happened to Israel when they worshiped images? You're not supposed to worship images. And everything down here is an image. You don't worship anything down here. Nothing. All your worship is things that you can't see. Well, one thing in particular, God. Even when God came, he said, don't worship this image that I'm in right now. Worship me in truth and in spirit. Spirit. Our spirits are concealed inside, but if, if you worship the image that we're in right now, you're worshiping an image. And you don't worship graven images. That's what Israel started doing. And that's in the last days what the world will start doing. The image of the beast in Revelation chapter 13. It's a spinoff. It's a copycat. And the image causes the people to worship the beast. Just like the image of God, Christ, caused people to worship God. Well, it's the same thing except flipped. Remember, Lucifer said, I will be like the most high. 